Hey everybody, it's me the Skyly, and I'm going to show you how you can use Rain Meter. Since I already showed you how to use Rocky Dock. Awesome, right? Rain Meter is this program that's on the side of my computer, my desktop, and it's over here. What's this? That's right, you can control music from your, uh, your uh, thingy thing that does stuff on your computer. Yeah, your desktop. And you can control notes, uh, time. You can't control time, you can look at time. Blah, and weather. <laughs> so, now that we got this out of the way, what's the first step I always say? Open your web browser choice. If it's not Firefox, you're going to hell. I'm sorry. Now we type in rain meter. And we go rainmeter.net. You're gonna come up to a 32 or a 64 bit download. That's basically what your color options are for your desktop. Mine is 32, yours is 64 bit. You can check that by going to your control panel and seeing like screen settings. I think that's what it is. So after you have it all installed and downloaded, what you're gonna have is, I'll just grab this for you really quickly. Uh, it's gonna be really ugly, tranquil, the basic, basic stuff. It doesn't really fit in any bear, any bear, anywhere. I wasn't expecting lyrics. It doesn't really fit in anywhere. It's really ugly, blah, 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 blah. And really, it's just disgusting to look at, considering you spend so much time, you want it to be really cool. So, what am I gonna show you how to do? I'm gonna show you how you too can do what I do and use Google to look up awesome things for your computer. One of them being rain meter. Can you guess the next word? Uh, you're wrong. Skins. Unless you actually guess skins and I don't know how because you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't need help with rain meter. Rawr, rawr. Anyways, I'm gonna sh you're going to come up with a bunch of things called customize.org, skin base, and you're gonna come up with DeviantArt. DeviantArt, I swear to God, has won my heart by how much stuff is there. I'm gonna go to DeviantArt. You can choose to go to rain, I mean, customize.org. You can choose to go to a lot of different things if you want to. So, Rain Meter. Just give me some really cool stuff, please. Um, Beast and Tame, you look pretty okay. Can I download you? Yes, I can. Thank you. So, I'm going to be really dangerous and set not open. I mean, not save. Open. I need... Okay. This is going to be okay. Oh, you're a read me. What? What? Why do I need to read this? Fonts. La, 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 la. Okay. All right. I'm just going to extract this. Now you would think, you would think you extract it to where you, where you, uh, la la lu lu lu, put your program file, right? Like C program file slash rain meter blah 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 blah. You'd be wrong. I don't know why they set it up like this. It's in user, my documents, if I can get documents, rain meter, skins, and you extract it to there. You go, okay. And I'm also going to extract this to my desktop since I know I can get it from there. And what you're gonna do is called installing a skin. Basically, the GeoSans Lite, it's a text format. And it looks like that. That's gonna be okay, it's gonna be cool, right? I'll show you how to install a font. Go to your control panel if you're using Vista. If you're not, I believe you can get there from there. Whoa, that's very descriptive of me. You can get, anyways, what I wanna do is probably going to be in classic view actually it's in the classic view it's going to be fonts if i can find fonts here we go fonts all i'm going to do drag and drop really easy here we go and now that it's there i'm just going to get rid of this since i've made a copy and now you're like okay i'm going to add beast and tame to my thing or i'm going to take a look it's going to be in the configs right wait a minute there's no beast! There's no beast and tame here! Okay, you're acting like the beast and I'm being the tamer. Got it? Calm down. What do you do? Exit rain meter. Second step, reopen rain meter. It's a little bit out of the way, blue, blue, blue. But, if you look now, beast and tame, it's there. Unleash the beast and tame? I like that. Unleash the beast! 
Whoa. Whoa. This is... This is pretty intense stuff. Not the music. Well, music is pretty intense, too. Whoa, I've never seen anything like this. Never seen anything like this. Set your Gmail username. Well, you can do that on your own. I'm not going to show you my username and password. Weather code OCN slash... What? Go to rainmeter.net slash locate code to find your weather code. If you're a U.S. resident, you may use the zip. Um, I don't think I want to show this one because it's... I I need to take the time to understand it. And I don't have the time to understand it so I can get it back to you in 10 minutes. Roar! Anyways, now that you've, I've shown you how you can do stuff, I'm going to show you how you can change a basic weather thing. Basic weather beast. Basic... <laughs> basic weather basically being what I understand. So I'm going to go... Did you see that? I'm going to do this again. You better pay attention. Right click on the config. Go to skin menu. Edit skin. And this is where you can do a lot of learning if you want. Variables. Find your weather code at weather.com. This is really cool, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to go weather.com. And now what comes up is enter the zip or US world city. Well, this is easy for me. I'm just going to click on my recent search. But if you're not me, and I really hope you're not, you, you have to type in your city. And then your code up here in the URL bar, HTTP, www.weather.com, Outlook, blah, blah, blah. What you really want to pay attention to is when it gets local slash, and this code that's up here for me, my code, CAXX0326, copy that. Go into your weather edit skin thing, and you see where it says URL equals blah, blah, blah. Remember, local slash, and replace that code with this one. Really cool. Also, the thing with this one is have temperature display in Fahrenheit. Basically, if you're in America, I'm sorry. I know I have a lot of American fans. I'm not picking on you. I'm not. You know I love you. Anyways, did I say fans? Ooh, I hate saying fans. Ah, I'm getting all sidetracked. Okay. Just delete the and unit equals m from the URL. Awesome, right? Save that. I was doing it the fast way all this time, but save it. Close out of that, and there's not going to be any change because I haven't done anything, but you're not going to have a change until you do this, okay? Skin menu, refresh skin, and then it will change from there. If you want to change your note, you don't actually change it from here. What it's going to do, it's going to show you variables. And the node itself is from C colon slash wherever. You, it's your job to find your text file. And you have to put in your actual documentation for your text file right there. Uh, you can change the font color if you want. To, to, what? What? Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. I got gotcha. you. So. After all that is done, you can actually still do more stuff with this. With the fonts, anyways. If I can find where it was. Ooh. Listen to that. Um, regardless, if you look around, you can change the stuff. It's really cool, really awesome stuff. Uh, it's really customizable. There's more I am not telling you because I simply don't know it. If you download a music player, it's probably going to be for Winamp. I'm sorry, there are a few things for iTunes. You just have to look harder for it. I don't know why. iTunes is harder to crack than the Winamp, apparently. Basically, that's all there is to it. Um, if you download time, it's going to take it from your computer timer and your calendar, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me. Also... What I'm doing is I'm saving all my uh, all my all the configs I'm using right now, my music, calendar, time, weather, and the notes, and I'm gonna upload them to my Deviant Art page, along with, and you're gonna like, this is gonna flip your bricks. Um, if I can go to my scraps, no, not my gallery, no, I'm not 17 either, my scrapbook. Wallpapers, the Skyly. Now, what this is, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna put a link directly to this from my descriptions. Okay, all you're gonna have to do is send like 
uh, copy and paste the link into your web bar. This is all the wallpapers I have currently, and they're they're made with the widescreen in mind. They're probably going to fit because I like high resolution things. But if they don't, I'm sorry. I can't please everybody, even though I try. Also, what you're going to see up here after I'm done is you're going to see the uh, the pa the pack I'm using. I'm also going to put that in the video description itself. Really cool, right? Thank you. I'm going to see you next time with some actual gameplay footage. I know you've been dying for it. See you guys later.